Hello, welcome to the channel. My name's Matt. This is Bask in the Story, and today we're discussing Naomi Alderman's new book, The Future, which, when this is published on the 7th of November, has just gone live, so you can now purchase it. I read an arc of this, so thank you to NetGalley for providing that. This book is set in the near future, and it does feel quite near where we have effectively tech billionaires running their empires and making huge amounts of money but at the cost or at what cost at, at the cost of the earth at the cost of humanity at the cost of many many things and what does our future look like and where are we going and that is what this book looks at and is there really any hope for us in the future so this centers around we've really got to follow sort of three uh, billionaires who certainly have parallels with certain billionaires uh about today um, and there's companies and empires that they manage which again you can draw pretty much direct parallels to companies that exist today they've just got slightly larger and slightly more influential which one could easily argue is the way the world is going so these billionaires are all about making profit earning their money and they know that what they're doing is driving the earth to potentially destruction and there will be a cataclysmic cataclysmic event soon uh, they don't know when and they don't know exactly what it will be but they are confident there will be a cataclysmic event but they're okay because they have their bunkers all set up in various places around the world which they will effectively retire to and wait it out they are quite comfortable with their fortunes to let the earth die and then come back and and reconquer what is left pity the poor man who doesn't have a billionaire billions of pounds in their pockets and massive bunkers to move to so the these tech billionaires are sort of the core of the story but actually we follow a group of friends around them um, who are trying to who are trying to make a play a heist i suppose of sorts to try and change the future to a more positive direction for humanity and for us to simply survive. I enjoyed the process of the story. I enjoyed some of the reveals we got as the story went on. I also enjoyed we had uh, sort of broken into the story. We had um, forum discussions uh, and points, which were quite interesting. They had some more context and developed some of the ideas that the author was exploring. So that was a good point. There was, however, one massive negative that made my enjoyment of this story take quite a hit. And that was the structure of how the story was told. And we have a lot of short chapters. And generally, I love a short chapter. Um, I quite like quick paced short chapter. Absolutely fine. No issues with that whatsoever. But we jump around a lot in time throughout the story, especially at the beginning half. The, se the second half and towards the end, we get a bit more of a linear storytelling but certainly the first half or so we have a lot of jumping around backwards and forwards in time but there's no real indication when you start a new chapter where you are in the time where you are in the time in time and so i found that on all these chapters which generally are pretty much all less than 10 pages i think i found for the first page two pages i was just trying to figure out when are we when in the period so where does this these events that I'm reading now happen compared to the ones that have just happened before and before that. So I was spending the first page or two trying to figure that out. And because I was trying to figure out the when, I wasn't really paying enough attention to the what. And it felt very <sighs> disjointed, therefore. And I couldn't get into the flow of reading it because I was constantly trying to figure out when am I? What is going on? When did this happen? Uh, and where does it fit within the story? And it just kept pulling me out of what was actually happening in the story. Uh, and that was... A huge challenge for me to get through the first half of the book as i say the story itself i quite enjoyed it was just the the choices on the way it was told and the fact that i had to spend a page or two at the beginning of every chapter every short chapter so like 10 20 percent of every chapter trying to figure out when these events were happening in this chapter and then we'll be on the next chapter and it could have jumped forward in time it could jump back in time it could have been just before long time before it it, it just felt messy and i lost the what by focusing too much on the when and the question of when things were happening. And that is probably the biggest negative I have. I think if you can get through that, then the story that's actually been told is quite was quite entertaining. It's just that I really, I really struggled with that bit and, and it did dampen my enjoyment of this story. So that's the future. I think I enjoyed the elements of <laughs> where we're going 
the the parallels to now because it's not set too far in the future and feels very relevant as to the course that we're taking as a civilization. I thought the ideas explored were solid and entertaining. I just felt the way it was told I really struggled with, which is disappointing. But we can't all have uh, winners every time we read a book, unfortunately. So there's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did pick it up, let me know what your feelings are and thoughts are uh, once you've read it. Did you have a very different experience to me or not? I'll be very interested in hearing what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.